what's up youtube it's taja amari and i'm back with a video um it's been a minute you guys it's been a really good minute um i have a lot of stuff to talk about on why you know i keep having these youtubes about how like you know i'm not about to start doing them i've been slacking and i'm y'all i'm trying i'm fucking trying okay so um, this is probably the first time I'm doing a YouTube video without being nervous. Because usually, like, my other YouTube videos, I'd be way nervous. Like, I'm just, like, somewhat camera shy. But, you know, I'm trying to get out of that. I've been trying to work on myself to, like, you know, be comfortable enough to be on here and speak my truth, you know? And have my content be surrounded by what makes me happy, you know? So, this is basically a video to recap the year that y'all have missed for me and what accomplishments and stuff that didn't happen in my life that has really been, you know, a lot. <laughs> so, you know, let's get right into the video. Okay, you guys, so this video is just a recap on everything I've been going through mentally and the new stuff that's been happening in my life. Um, for starters, as y'all can see, it's a new background. Every time it's probably a new background, but it's a new background. I have my own apartment, you guys, and I'm so proud of myself. I've been living here since February. So, you know, I really got a lot of stuff in my apartment right now, but, you know, saving up to get some stuff. I'll give y'all apartment tour once I get a couch and some cute stuff up in my living room and stuff. I'll give y'all apartment tour. But um, on the other hand, mentally, ladies, I want you guys to tune in really closely to this because I feel like a lot of us, especially um, us women in our twenty, our early 20s and like teen years, like 18, 19 to like 20s, 22, 23, y'all know what I'm about to tell y'all. <laughs> Some of us got it better, some of us got don't, you know. So, for starters, um, mentally, I have not been there. I haven't. I'm not about to sit up here in front with y'all. Uh, as most of y'all have me on social media and everything, y'all know, like, I haven't really been going through the most happiest times of my life, but I've been trying to make the best of them. That's one thing about me, like, I honestly respect is that even though shit be bad, I still have a way to make it positive at the end of the day. Like, I'd be happy in some way about it. So, you know, that's one thing about me I really admire about me. Um, My tips on, like, actually getting out of, like, a mental funk around this age and, like, this type of, like, you know, especially the situation I'm in, like, I'm living all the way out in Pontiac by myself. So it's like, you know, I don't really have, you know, I have a support system, but, you know, there's nobody really here with me. Like, I'm really, like, doing everything pretty much on my own. And, like, you know, one thing I can honestly say, like, number one, don't don't ever feel like, don't ever have too much pride to not ask for help. If you don't have help, then that's different. But, like, if you have people, like, in your corner or whatever, don't ever, like, you know, it's always good to ask. Even if people can't help you, like, it's good to ask. You never know what somebody what how they feeling it during the day or how they you know just ask like it's not it's not that big of a deal like because me i was definitely prideful i did not want to ask for help i felt like you know if i wasn't in a place to pay the person back i don't want to ask for help that's just that's just high i'm still kind of like that but like i'm more lenient towards asking just to see if it will benefit me like if it will work you know like just to try it out um, another step I should say is um, be more open to criticism, constructive criticism at that. One thing about me, I hate when people try to tell me what to do. <laughs> I hate when people have an opinion about me. I hate all that stuff. Like, I'm not even going to be fake about it. I'm working on it, you guys. I'm not perfect. I am working on it. But when I mean I can't stand it, it irks me. It does. Like, because I, I personally don't have an opinion on people. I don't. I feel like you're your own person. Have an opinion by yourself. Like you, don't, like, you don't have nothing to do with nobody else. So why would you have an opinion on somebody else? That's just me. But I think, like, 
what people fail to realize about me is that a lot of people don't get me. I'm very well misunderstood. Um, the way I think about stuff, the way I see things, the way I feel like stuff should go. A lot of people don't understand me. And like that goes with like friendships and relationships. Like um, currently right now, I'm not dealing with anybody. I'm really just focusing on myself. Um, I have my friends, you know, but you know, like, you know, I give them like space for real. Like I don't really be trying to hang out all the time and everything like that. Like I really been just trying to be to me, you know, and I'm just trying to learn how to love myself again, because, you know, as you guys know, most of you guys, um, I had an auntie who passed away a year and a month, and some months ago. As y'all can see, I couldn't really get it out because it, it hurts every time I talk about it. But I'm I'm getting through it. But um, start like dealing with that. I lost myself real like fast. I lost myself. Like I didn't like literally the day it happened. I just completely felt my whole personality, anything like just leaving my body as a whole. Like I just felt like. It was really no purpose anymore for a lot of stuff. And like, I think that's what people felt to realize. Like, you know, I kind of handled it well for a few months and made it seem like, you know, I was kind of like over it. But I think most people who are close to me knew that I was still like suffering a lot. And like, I went through a situation where I confided myself into one person. I confided on this one person to like make me happy and to see like, if this person could heal me and I'm starting to figure out like, you know, can't nobody heal you, but you, you know, like that's common, common sense. But you know, us girls, we fall for these guys when we're in a bad place and thinking maybe, you know, they will understand cause they know us, but it don't really end well. So I have been through a lot of heartbreak in my time being but I don't think nothing was as worse as what happened to my auntie. I really truly believe that I completely was heartbroken. Like I, I can honestly say that, especially how she passed. It was just so tragic. Um, And I've been through a lot of rough patches since then. Now, one thing I will honestly say, a lot of anger came with it. A lot of being upset, a lot of just unnecessary doubt you know about myself like I had so much doubt about myself I still have doubt to this day but I have like I had way more I was very insecure I didn't really love myself enough to realize what was happening around me I was just trying to be happy for how as much as I could because the, I, that was always my personality before this happened I was always a happy girl like a happy person I never like confrontation you know i used to, i used to fight back in the day or whatever but you know i was cool after that like, i never hold grudges like i was never that that person you know so it took a toll on me it took a very 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 long toll on me to the point where i had to like dig myself out of a hole that i kept digging as I was trying to get out if you get what I'm saying most of y'all caught that don't let that go over your heads just lay on your but um this is probably like my you know me like this is basically me trying to find my my purpose in in this world like because honestly I had a lot of suicidal thoughts I did not want to be here I broke down so many times like y'all can't even count and most of them happened like a, a month or two ago like I'm, I'm telling y'all I'm fresh out I'm trying to tell you it's nothing new about it um I think what people didn't really understand about me is that like when I when something tragic happens to me I tend to dwell on it but not like dwell on it as like I just want to stay in that mind state it's just that like my mind just won't it wasn't clicking like it wasn't connecting to like to like continue to like to, you know just to like heal like getting ready to heal or whatever like I was just still grieving like it just it didn't work out you know a lot of stuff didn't work out I lost a lot of friends a lot of a lot of friends I lost a lot of family members that I was really close with um 
I stopped a situation that we're not gonna bring up because I don't even got time. Like it's it's just been a lot on me. And like one thing about me, I put a lot of people before me instead of putting myself first. So that was another that was another toll on me. And like I can't help that I do that. That's just my like even before that happened that was just who I was like I cared about people more than I cared about myself and that's just my personality like that's something I had to like understand and see and cope with to understand that you know being selfish is something I have to do for myself for me to actually be where I want to be and like um I got into like the phase of I didn't really give a fuck about anything like I was just not caring about people's feelings or how they felt because I felt like nobody really understood or cared about how I felt a lot. Like, I felt like I was there for people more than they were there for me. And I felt like um, people just didn't really want me. I didn't feel wanted or like accepted for who I really was and what I was going through. And that kind of, that, that hurt because, um, People was thinking I was just being like this bitchy person and I'm just mad about everything because of what was going on in my relationship and I was just taking it on everybody when it wasn't it had nothing to do with that like it was a part of it but it didn't have nothing to do with that I was like blatantly just lost as a person and like a lot of people didn't really understand that about me even in my relationship I don't think he understood that either um because one thing about me like um I have a lot of rough patches because of the trauma I went through my whole life like I'm trying to figure it out and I feel like I'm doing a pretty damn good job for who I am today and that's and I don't like trust me the stuff that happened to me I wish it never happened to me but you know I don't regret it because it made me who I am now like I'm I'm more wise I'm I think stuff through more than I you know than I used to, you know, I'm more patient, I'm more calm than I used to be. And I went through a lot of heartbreak since from the time my auntie passed till now, I didn't been through a lot of trying to figure out why this bad shit keep happening to me. And it's just the certain people I try to keep into my life and try to, you know, like, just make sure they were good instead of it being, vi you know, vice versa. Like, I just always didn't really put my feelings first, you know. And I wish I could have, like, dealt with stuff differently. I wish I could have handled stuff differently. But, you know, like, stuff happens. I wish I just had that person, like, because one thing I can honestly say a lot of people said they don't need nobody, which could be true. You don't have you don't have to need anybody. You don't like you could really work it out on your own if you're that strong enough to do that. But me, I'm the type of person. I'm not gonna lie. I need a person. I need at least one that can really just sit there and just help me talk it out and thinking through and like actually think about why I did certain stuff that I did or why do I want to act like this or why do I feel like that? You know, like it's always good to have a person in your corner to like be there for you and I'm 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 that type of person like I feel like if I have that person in my corner that you know stuff will make it easier and my problem was I I just put I feel like I put all of my all of my issues onto one person and it kind of like drove them to not really like like me or like accept me you know, for the person that I started to become or the person I was trying to grow to be, you know? So that was the one heartbreak I can't really still seem to grasp or understand because I'm kind of still going through it now. But I'm trying to make the best of the situation. Um, For my girls and for guys too, like if you have like any type of, thoughts in your mind where you feel like you don't want to be here i'm telling you from experience like god didn't put you on this earth to not have a purpose god didn't put you on this earth to just die 
like we all gotta die one day but he puts you on this earth to do something before you it, it comes to that point like god put us through hell and hot waters just so we can understand that we're strong enough for whatever he got coming for us like i really thought deeply about that like i knew that it's a reason i gotta be here if like i didn't try to go this route and it's not it never went the route you feel what i'm saying like i got to the point where i didn't want to be here i didn't feel like i had no purpose like and i got to that point where i just started realizing like dang like it's a reason i'm here like it's a reason why i have all these big dreams in my head and i'm just not executing them because of depression and just being so isolated from everybody like i just i see why like god put me in this position for a reason you know and like i feel like i'm definitely a million times stronger than i was a year ago shit longer than a year <laughs> two three years ago i'm way stronger than how i was and i feel like i'm growing into like a real beautiful person how i think how i feel the love I give, the love that I receive, like it's it's a blessing to know how to give and receive love at the same time. So that's one thing I can honestly thank God for, because without that, I probably would be a fucked up person. In all honesty, I feel like that. Um, like women, love yourself. Men, love yourself enough to know when it's a time to detach yourself from a situation or a person, like. Love yourself enough to know that this is not the end. This is not the end of the world. It will get better. You just have to put the work into getting better. As much as you feel like you don't have the energy for it or you don't have the drive for it, get your drive. Find your drive. Find what makes you happy. Like most of you guys know I used to dance in high school. Dancing was my passion, y'all. Okay, y'all knew I love to dance. I danced my ass off when I did and I took a real long break from dancing after high school because I felt like my confidence wasn't there anymore. And I was I was in a real bad, toxic situation back in high school that drove me away from it. That made me think too much about what I was going through instead of what was waiting for me. I feel like I would have been in a way better place if I just stuck with what I knew instead of what I was trying to know, if y'all feel what I'm saying. So, yeah, it's just like I ended up taking two dance classes and I felt good. It made me feel good. It made me, I was nervous. I was very, very nervous, y'all. I was scared to death. Okay, I was scared. I did not, I was just like not ready. But like, you know, I got in there and I did the best I could for what I knew. And boy, I was tired. Okay, when I mean exhausted, bitch, <laughs> I went home, got in a bath and fell asleep in the tub. Like that. that's how bad it was. That's how bad it was. And y'all know, I don't, I, don't, I don't even take baths. I take showers all the time. The shower was running, and I was sitting in a tub, lay back, dead to the world. I was tired, okay? And then I had to work earlier in the morning. I was a prune by the time I got the, <laughs> out the tub. <laughs> like, it was just crazy. Like, I can't. But, yeah. It's just, you got to take certain steps, y'all know. Like, y'all got to, y'all got to give to receive pray meditate write like i write a lot i write a lot i have like two journals i write in one for feelings and emotions and like how how to like the stuff i'm dealing with and then i got a book another one to like for positivity stuff i need to do to get out of that funk but to you know to elevate myself to make me more successful to like get a business plan like all that like i have two books for each one obviously my feelings books is bigger than my success book right now but we're gonna get out of that real soon <laughs> i'm still trying to manage my emotions as much as i can you know i'm um i didn't got to a place in my life where i'm just calm i don't have no like i'm i'm angry still but i don't act on it i try to move with the motions try to get everything you know just easier for me like because i had a hard i i had it hard y'all like as much as y'all like you know y'all know i had it hard okay and you know i'm trying to get out of that it's just the it's just the process of everything it's 
a process of trying to be a better person, a better Taja, you know? Because, y'all, I truly, I truly feel myself loving myself again. I feel like I am elevating and becoming this beautiful woman <laughs> inside and out. Period. Even though I look crazy right now, period. <laughs> I'm becoming a better me. And I'm, I'm, I can honestly say, like, I'm not completely happy, but I'm starting to be at peace with it. And peace is really all I ever wanted. Like, I've always been a happy person, but peace, peace of mind, I don't think I understand how, like, beautiful that is. How, how exciting it is to just be on a process of getting to that point. Because I'm honestly telling you, you're going to have a lot of bad days trying to get your peace. You're going to have a lot of bad days. It's not going to be peaches and cream every day. It's not, especially with life stuff going on. Life makes stuff worse, to be completely honest. Trying to have a peace of mind in it, like, it, it's hard. But, like, once you get to that point, I feel like once I get to that point where I'm just completely peaceful, like, can nothing bother me and my aura is aligned and everything is just centered, I feel like I will be, like, the most amazing human being. Like, I just feel it, like... I have so much confidence in myself in that. Like, that's one thing I have confidence confidence in is that once I find my peace, I will be that person. Nothing can stop me after that. And that's the same thing for everybody else. Nothing can stop you from being your best version of you. Nobody else's opinion matters, truly. Like, however you think about yourself is how you're going to think about yourself at night when you wake up, when you go to work, when you hang out with your friends, when you date somebody you're going to feel that version of you. Nobody knows the version of you that you want to be until you execute it. I'm trying to tell y'all. Don't let that fly off your head. Be your best version of you. Don't let nobody tell you who you are. Don't let nobody ever make you feel less of yourself or that you're not good enough because everyone is good enough. Everyone is worth it. Whether how messed up they are or how crazy they may be to people or how sad or shit like naive indecisive anything you're always worth it you're always worth that extra mile like literally and i'm a type of person i accept everybody for who they really are people who tend to like be fake about who they really are i still accept them too because i've been there i've been not myself for a long time and i still manage to get to this point where I just try to still find who I'm trying to be you know so I respect anybody that is at least trying to get to a person that they really want to be you know I just want to say like I haven't really been on here I haven't really been posting anything but I feel like this is going to be my outlet to really help me get to my piece that I need to do because like it's like a diary you know like a virtual diary and i'm letting you in on my peace and my heart and my journey to where i want to be in my life and i want y'all to be there every step of the way <laughs> so you know this is gonna be i'm gonna try to upload a video probably every week because like how my schedule is i get off of work at three so like i'll have time to you know make more videos and like just make vlogs of like my everyday stuff that goes on like i'm probably gonna have a vlog about how how i'm doing a midnight shift tonight and tomorrow night i'll probably do a video tomorrow when you know i'm not busy or when i wake up but that's really just like a recap on everything that's going on with me you know love yourself keep your protect your energy love you so everybody else can love you <laughs> be you don't never stop being you and um i think that's it you guys so catch you later